I was putting my I was gonna put my belt on. Hey everybody, it's time for the Beetle competition. Put on your gear, meet me in the yard, it's about to get juicy. <laughs> And there are smoothie shops all over. And I obviously know what this competition is. It's the explosion competition. <laughs> Woo! And as a super fan, I'm geeked to play this. And Kevin is standing there like a freaking human grape. Like, what is this? Like an underwear commercial? What is this? Christine, Vanessa, Bridget. Are those the people who won it? Yeah. So cool. Juices. Welcome to the BB Juicy Blast Smoothie and Juice Bar. Today, you will strive to create the perfect drinks. If you hope to become employee of the month, you must know the ingredients for each smoothie better than everyone else. In each round of this competition, you will top off a drink by adding its final ingredient. A monitor will list ingredients that are in one drink. After seeing several ingredients, you will be instructed to retrieve a specific item to complete your drink. Once everyone has selected an ingredient, I'll instruct you to pour this ingredient into the drink cup. If you pour the correct ingredient, you'll advance to the next round. But if you pour the incorrect ingredient, your chances of winning the veto will blow up in your face and you are out. The last player remaining will earn employee of the month and power of veto. Who's ready to play BB Juicy Blast? So I need to win this veto, cause I need to get myself off the block, cause I'm ready to serve Jess and Cody some meatball smoothies all week. Hey Jess and Cody, you think you like the taste of those, meatball? Josh is definitely a bigger target, but you just never know in this house, so I'm gonna go full force and win this veto. I need to keep the house calm this week, and that means winning the power of veto and keeping noms the same. I can't have Ramsey's or Josh win it and pull themselves off the block. Round one. Let's begin. Pour the middle item of the sequence. So this is right up the rodeo clown's alley. I'm an auctioneer, I memorize things in sequence for a living. I should have this baby in the bag, no problem. But I literally have no idea what is in a smoothie. I don't even think I've ever had a smoothie. <laughs> Jason does not look confident about his answer. Jason does not look confident ever. <laughs> My strategy in this competition is to just memorize the first syllable of each word. Ginger, star fruit, spinach, so gin, star, spin. My strategy in this competition is to sing the ingredients on the screen and make it repetitive so it's just nailed in my head. Ginger, star fruit, spinach, papaya, beet. Ginger, star fruit, spinach, papaya, beet. And now I have useless ingredients stuck in my head until the end of time. Thank you, big brother. Now it's time to pour your ingredients into your drink. I am ready to beast this competition. I want to show the house that I'm not just... <laughs> ah, oh my God. Jingle boom, jingle boom, Christmas lost the veto. Looks like you're getting a big sack of coal this year because you literally blew it, Christmas. <laughs> Correct answer was spinach. Damn it. I'm sorry, Christmas. You have been eliminated. It smells like bananas. It's now time for round two.
or the item that starts with the letter G that is not in the sequence. Oh my God, I am struggling right now. I'm not sure whether it's ginger or guava that is missing from this freaking sequence. If I don't get this answer right, I'm going to be blown away and not in a good way. It's extremely important for me to win this veto. I know that I don't leave my fate in no one's hands but my own, so I want to pull myself off the block in order to ensure that I'm safe. With Christmas eliminated, we have Jason, Cody, Jessica, Josh, and Ramsey's left in the competition. Right now, I'm holding up ginger, but it could be guava, so I'm just gonna choose ginger and hope for the best. Oh my God, please. It's now time to pour your ingredient into your drink. Answers was guava. I'm sorry, Ramsey, Josh, was guava. and Jason have been eliminated. What? How was that wrong? Apparently, my memory sucks. God. Back to rodeo clowning. Guava. Literally, the veto just exploded out of my hands. I knew it was guava. Why did I pick ginger? Ramses, you idiot. You could have won this power veto and you just, you just screwed yourself over. I knew it was guava. It completely sucks to know that I lose from second guessing myself. But more disappointing is that I lose to Jess and Cody. I can't stand these people. They want me out so bad that me losing this comp, they're living for it. I knew it was guava. It's down to Jessica and Cody for the power of veto. Yes! Oh, God. This week couldn't get any better. Josh is a dumb dumb anyways. I didn't expect him to win this competition. I'm not shocked that he went out in the second round. I could feel in the booth over from him that his spirits were just absolutely crushed, and that satisfied me. How's it going over there, Cody? Jess, save your hair. <laughs> that would imply that I'm going to lose. Let's see the ingredients for round three. Pour the item that's in the sequence that was shown exactly twice. At this point, obviously, me and Jess have secured the veto, so the only thing that's on my mind right now is saving Jess's hair. Because if this goo gets all up in her hair, I'll never hear the end of it. So taking a smoothie bomb to the face is the least I can do for Jess. Wow, a flavor explosion. The correct answer was Dewberry. <laughs> Congratulations, Jessica. You have won the golden power of veto. <laughs> I just won the power of veto, and this is amazing. I can't even handle all of this bling right now. I have all the power in the house, and I couldn't ask for anything better. So next year I get to have my face up on this wall. So close. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm a little relieved that Josh didn't win it. But at the same time, in this game, you really don't know. So I want to talk to Jessica and make sure that I'm secure for this week. Now that Jessica won the veto, I just need to make sure that she keeps nominations the same, does not change or take anybody on or off, and I can continue with my plan to blindside Jessica and Cody and get Ramsey's out of this house. I couldn't put myself off the block and I didn't win the veto. I feel really disappointed. So now I just gotta trust in the plan, but you never know, it's Big Brother, anything can happen. As long as they don't use the veto, you're safe. You don't dog. think she would, right? No, which is why we need to be like, even drop that line. Look, Jess, I know the reason I'm going home. I just